Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play the Potatoes and Molasses song from Over the Garden Wall. It's a super, super, it's a super catchy song. They combine super and catchy together. So it's super, yeah, it's a super song. Anyway, I want to teach you how to play the main theme of the song, which goes something like this. I'll give you a quick preview, it goes something like this. Check it out. Okay. Itself, okay, but anyway, let's go ahead and learn how to play this soupy song. Okay, it's a super catchy song. Let's go ahead and start learning it. Okay, right hand, so it starts on the E, middle C is here, we go up to the octave C above, and then starting on the E right above there. Okay, so it goes E and then F G G G F E C. Okay, that's the first part. One more time for the first part, so it goes like this. So it goes E, F, G, G, and then G, F, E, C, like that for the right hand, okay? So, that's the right hand for the first part, okay? The left hand, uh, for the first half of this lesson, I'm just going to teach you the block chords first, and then afterwards I'll tell you that pattern, what I do in the left hand, okay? So anyway, the block chords are for the two chords for this first part, both of them are C major chords, so it's C, E, G, so two C major chords, okay? You can do an octave below if you want. I do it an octave below in my uh, personal cover, but yeah, you can just do it for here first so you can see all the notes clearly, okay? So two C major chords, with those two chords in mind, the first part goes like this for the two hands, okay? So it goes like this, so right hand starts first, it goes E, and then F, and then G, and C major together. E and C major together. Like that, okay? Before we do it again for two hands, let's work out the rhythm quickly for the right hand first. So it's like... Uh, da -da -da. That, okay, so make sure you get that rhythm right before we start doing the two hands together once again. So it goes da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Okay, just like that for the right hand, okay? Okay, with the left hand chords together once again, so it goes like this Like that, okay? So, make sure you get the rhythm right as well because afterwards when we put the left hand pattern, it will be a lot easier once you know the rhythm for this, okay? So it goes Like that, okay? So, that's the first part of this awesome theme. Let's go ahead and move on to the second part of this theme. Right hand continues after the C here, right? We go up an octave above C, so it goes the high C, another two of them another one, and then a B, C, B, A, and then yeah, okay, that's the, uh, let me see, that's the second part, okay, so let's call this the second part, because afterwards there's another extra A note, but we don't do it in this part yet, we do it in the third part, but anyway, let's do it one more time for the right hand, so the second part goes high C, two more, and another one, and then D, C, B, A, like that. Okay, so the rhythm goes like this, it goes dun 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 like that, okay? So that's the rhythm, make sure you get it. So it goes like this one more again one more time, so it goes dun 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 da like that, okay? So that's the right hand. Uh so once you get the right hand for this second part, especially the rhythm as well. Left hand, we have two chords here. The two chords are both F major chords, which is F, A, and C. Also, all white notes, as you can see, okay? So, so two of them, once you remember it and can play two of the F major chords without looking, let's go ahead and put the two hands together for the second part. So it goes C and F major together. So it goes together. Boom. And then together. Like that, okay? One more time, so it goes like this. So it goes together. Like that. Okay, so that's the second part. After you get the second part, let's move on to the third part. Right hand instantly continues for two fast A's, and then another A, 
G F A A A G like that. Okay, so some faster notes for the right hand, but it's not that fast at the same time. So one more time, so it goes like this. It's a pickup note. Okay, the first A is actually a. It leads on to the main beat. So it goes A A A G F A A A G like that. Okay, so with the rhythm it goes to like this. Five, six, seven, eight. Together. Like that, you can see, I said 5, 6, 7, 8, and then before the next first beat, uh, the first A plays itself. So like this, 5, 6, 7, 8. Like that, see? Okay, so once you get the rhythm for that third part, uh, let's go ahead and do the left hand now. So the left hand, we have four chords here because there are passing chords. Okay, so the four chords, pretty simple. It's just two chords alternating between each other, played four times. So the two chords are F major, F, A, C. And then the second chord is G major, G, B, D. And then the third chord, you alternate back to F major. And the fourth chord, you alternate back to G major. So pretty simple, right? Okay, so the G major is all white keys as well. So pretty awesome because all of the chords in this lesson are white keys and also the melody as well so it makes it a lot easier so f major g major f major g major okay try to like um play it until you can kind of memorize it and play it without looking at the keys like what i'm doing right now like talking to you guys and also playing without looking at the keys okay so make sure you can get your fingers on top of the keys because once you can like rest your fingers on top of the keys for the left hand you don't have to worry about it and you can just worry about the right hand doing the melody jumping around and stuff because that's more effort than the left hand most of the time okay but anyway yeah with that in mind so uh, with the four chords in mind for this third part the two hands together goes like this so the lead up the first a by itself the second a with f major together third a by itself and then g and g major together next a and f major together and g and g major together just like that okay okay so that is the third part one more time so it goes like this together Together, 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 just like that, okay? So, once you get the third part, let's move on to the fourth and last part of the theme. Goes like this, right hand, really simple. Four Gs, one, two, three, four, and then up to B, three times. Like that, okay? One more time, so it goes like this. So, four Gs, two, three, four, and then three Bs. Just like that, okay? So that's the right hand for this fourth part of the section. And yeah, left hand, we have two chords for this fourth part. Okay, so the fourth part, the left hand, we have uh, G7 with D bass is the four note chord, which is D, F, G, B, okay? So yeah, G7 with D bass is essentially the second inversion of G7, okay? I'm just saying this so it's easier to remember since D bass. Yeah. So remember that, and then the second chord is G major, which is G, B, D, which you know, okay? So the good thing about it, the G7, D bass is also all white notes, like that, and G major. Okay, with those two chords in mind, the two hands together goes like this, so it goes G and G7 together, so it's like together, and B and G major together, just like that, okay? So one more time, so it goes like this, together, together like that okay so let's play through all four parts back to back now so you can get a feel of what it sounds like just the block chord stuff so it goes together like that okay so as you can see I'm doing 3, 2, 1 as a finger. The reason why, because uh, the pattern that I'm going to teach you now, okay? For the chords, I want you to do the pattern where you play the third finger on the bass note of the chord. So for example, C major, it will be C, and then the next note in the pattern is the higher two notes. And then the next note, the third note in the pattern, I want you to go down, so an octave for the highest note, which is the G, which is also the fifth down there, and then back up to the higher two notes, highest two notes as well, like that. And that's the pattern. So it's like root note, high two notes, the octave below note, and then the high two notes again. So it's like dun, 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 dun. that's for the C major one and F major, same thing. There are root notes and then the high two notes and then the octave below note. 
like that, okay? And G major and stuff is all the same, but depends on where you go from, okay? So it goes like this when you put it together. So this one is a bit harder to just do it like this and like that, okay? So yeah, that's pretty much it. So make sure, uh, just do that pattern only for the times when it's a full complete uh, bar of the chords, the four notes, because you know how this part, you can only do the chords, the um part only, so you can only do the root note and the high two notes without the lowest note because that's the passing chord thing where I said there are more chords, the four chords one, okay? But anyway, as for now, I guess, enjoy your time on my channel, check out my full cover for this song, I've done the entire song, really catchy song, but anyway, as for now, I guess, enjoy your time around my channel, and see you next time. I'm glad you made it to the end of my video. Now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses, or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services. As for now, enjoy your time on my channel, subscribe and see you next time.